60-year-old Bedford bus, hand-painted and a bit rough around the edges. But the windows offer views just as good as any to be had from a more modern and expensive vehicle. The Bedford is home to carver and tattooist Jasmine Cullen and her partner yeah. Ben Smith, pretty, who are following a different route to most young people. Um, there was no way we were ever going to afford a house and uh, we both struggle with working sort of nine to five jobs under people where we're not appreciated and um, I, I kind of just, you get to see the country, like I haven't travelled overseas but um, I also haven't seen a lot of New Zealand so I'm getting to see my country first and you know it's just a, it's an amazing way to see it, you see so much more in a bus than you do in a car. It absolutely beats a mortgage. Um, and I guess, yeah, I guess there's only going to be more people getting involved with it, I guess. While they do have a bit of an IOU with a parent, and living in a bus does cost, the pair have no mortgage, rates or power bills. If it, it's like a broad number. We have a home and a business for under $50,000, so that's a really achievable amount to pay back in a lifetime, and you can still live pretty good while you're doing it, so <laughs> that's helpful. We're not like eating wheat bix and... <laughs> can you see? How, can you uh, see a day when you won't do it? I mean, how long? Nah, you do no this way. For? I I want to do this forever. Ever since I was a little kid, this is what I wanted to do. But I mean, we'll we'll probably get a patch of dirt somewhere. Hopefully, it is nice to have like somewhere stable. But um, nah, this is it for us totally. We'll do kids and this and everything, and just make lofts and pop outs and all sorts of weird things to accommodate children. <laughs> the building uh, criteria is all the. The building um, code, I guess, for house buses and house trucks is a lot less strict, I guess, in comparison to building on land, you know. Um, we just have dimensions that we have to stay within, and, and that's pretty much it. For the last six weeks, the pair have been part of the Gypsy Extravaganza, touring Otago with their crafts and skills. And living with the Gypsies, there's no temporary working holiday. Yeah, we fit in really good. Everyone's really like-minded. Um, we all kind of have similar world views or at least more tolerance than most people that I've met, so yeah. What's the world view of the extravaganza? Ah, what's the world view of the extravaganza? Just love and um, good times and uh, just trying to change the world a bit, I think. Most of us are solar powered, um, even though we're big diesel grunty things, we're trying to offset our sort of carbon emissions and whatnot, and um, most of our packaging's eco-friendly, and um, yeah, we're just trying to like do a good thing for communities and also for the environment, and, and just lead a cool example for people. Because I think lots of people are going to move into buses and house trucks and things. It's gonna, it's gonna happen. Yeah, no way. Our generation is going to struggle to afford houses, but we can pay things like this off, and it's a home. <laughs> the main downside of being on the road in a 14 metre long bus and caravan is finding a park. Jasmine, Ben and their bus are in Wanaka this weekend and the west coast is next. Mark Price for the South Today.